Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to watch and view DVDs on your Windows 10 computer. So as far as I know for many many years there has been a DVD player built into Windows. I think it went all the way back to Windows 2000 days. And it's something that you always kind of expect it to be built into the operating system. However, for Windows 10, Microsoft decided that they were not going to include it as part of their standard package of Windows. And instead, you have to pay, I believe, $15 for the add-on, which is definitely great if you want to pay $15 to get an application that you don't necessarily need to pay for. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys a free alternative to the Windows DVD player that it's not going to cost you anything and it will perform with the same kind of level of functionality as what the DVD player typically would. Or at least what you would expect from a DVD player. I mean, come on, I, mean, I don't think you guys really expect that much from it other than to actually view DVDs and CDs. So we're going to just jump right into it and we're going to start by heading over to the internet. You can pick any web browser you want, doesn't really matter. So going off of Google here, I'm going to type in VLC player. So the domain for this program is videoland.org at the time of this recording. So you want to left click on it to open it up. You want to make sure you're downloading it from the official website. And then there should be a pretty obvious download button on the side of the page here. So we can see according to their own tracker, it's been downloaded about 123 million times. So I would give that a good indication to being a safe file. So I'm just going to proceed to left click on the download VLC button right here. And you can see that it is a free and open source project. They do accept donations, but the product itself they're not charging for. So we're just going to wait for the download to finish. It's just going to take a couple moments here. It's only about 29 megabytes, so definitely not too big, but it will take a couple seconds to download, so just be patient there. Okay, so once the download's finished, you want to just left click on it to open it up. If you receive a user account control window, left click on yes. You have to select your language. Left click on next. Next again. Next, next. And then it'll just finish up installing. I do not believe they bundle any programs with the installer as the time of this recording of course stuff can change but I don't believe they do so that's definitely nice so once it's done you'll see a little icon probably created on the desktop here and it'll say run VLC media player so just left click on finish okay so you might have to agree to a privacy network access policy and you can see that they do not collect personal data or transmit them, not even in anomalized form to anyone. So you don't have to keep over these checks, they're both optional here for a regular check for VLC updates and also allow for metadata network access. You don't actually need to keep either one of these checked. I'll just uncheck the first option just for my purpose and then I'll left click and continue. So if you have any DVDs, you can actually access them through the VLC Media Player if you wanted to load them. If you left click on the Media tab at the top, you can actually open up the DVD or CD file. You can open up the disk from directly from the D drive or whatever your drive label might be called. You can create a playlist. So there's definitely a lot of very nice features that are built in. There's definitely um, a jump feature. So if there's different chapters in the DVD, you can skip around. You can create different effects and features. I believe there's actually quite a few capabilities within VLC Media Player that I'm not even aware of, but there's definitely a lot to check out. So one last thing you want to do is, before I sign off with this video, is I'm going to head over to the Start menu and I'm going to type in Default Programs. 
So the best match should be listed as the default programs right above desktop app. So you want to left click on that. This will open up the settings window and then you want to scroll down on this default apps list until you get to video player. Left click on where it says movie and TV or whatever it currently is set at right here. It might be different in your case so just keep that in mind. So on this list, there should be something that says VLC Media Player. Left click on that. This will set the VLC Media Player as the default application when you try and load videos, which shouldn't really be that much different than if you're using Windows Movie Player or something along those lines. But pretty straightforward. You don't have to click on save or anything at this point. You can just close out of the window when you're done. And that should be it, guys. So I hope this brief little tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.